Our program here at Grand Valley State University really works to promote educating students to shape their lives, professions, and societies. In housing, we really try to focus on the students and their development outside of the classroom. What we do in the residence halls with our RAs through the residential curriculum as well as through our programming really makes the mission of the institution come alive. We have some different learning outcomes and different ways that we try to make them well-rounded so that when they leave Grand Valley, they'll not only be experts within their field and in their curriculum, but also um, just be good, well-rounded people and members of society. We bring campus into the living centers, and the RAs do that through their programming and through their everyday interactions with the students. We center our out-of-class learning experiences around um, three big areas, and those are interculturalism, or learning about oneself, academics, how to be a good student, and then also citizenship, and grappling with what it means to be a part of a community, and how you give back to the community. One of the things that I do with housing is that I'm a faculty fellow for some of the residence halls here on campus. What that allows me to do is to get to know a lot of the RAs and see what sort of programming they put on. The role of the advocacy offices is to create space for students to feel like Grand Valley's home. So to that extent, we work with resident assistants and their role in trying to make campus home and being partners in that. When you think about the campus culture and the climate, RAs play an incredibly important role in shaping that each and every day. We have a lot of policies and procedures on campus, but there's nothing like a peer leader to really set the tone for what does it mean to be a role model, what does it mean to make for a welcoming community. A lot of the things that housing does through developing the RA program helps to reinforce the sort of holistic approach and to get students to see that education can be a lot bigger than maybe they think it can be. Our training starts in August and pretty much we go through a series of different scenarios, different things that we might run into as, as RAs. You're not going to know what kind of resident is going to come in. Not all residents are the same. Not all RAs are the same. The training that I go through as an RA really helps me talk to students and to broach those topics and to have those conversations that might not be the easiest thing to talk about. We really learn a lot of interpersonal skills and that's really helped me in the last two years of being an RA connect with my residents on a more personal level. So it's not just surface level stuff where it's just like, oh hey, how's it going? How was your class today? It's um, how can I help you become a better person? How can I help you become a better student? How can I help you um, get connected with different resources around campus or with different people in the community? We talk about all the multiculturalism and leadership and citizenship and being an active member of where you live. And that crosses over into being an RA because of programming, because of rounds and duty. When you're talking to residents, you're just sort of like sticking those ideas in there. Like maybe use this word instead of this word or have you thought about the impact you have when you say things like that? First year as an RA, the girl that moved in next door, first met her when she was crying. She was just crying. Her parents were leaving very upset, like wasn't ready for the transition. And now she's actually an RA on my staff and I see her like dealing with students who are going through the same thing and talking to them how they cope and we've become really close and just seeing how successful she's been has like helped me to realize that I've actually made an impact on some people. I want to do counseling psychology, so I think being an RA definitely helps out with potential career goals. All the time we position ourselves as a resource for residents. For counseling, that's something that I'm going to be doing you know, in the future, is giving my clients resources, giving them advice, giving them solutions to their problems. I'm a finance and economics major, so in that vocation you have to deal with a lot of people a lot of times but really I found out my priority I really like to help people and that's why I love being an RA. It's honestly one of the most rewarding experiences of my life I've changed a lot since I became an RA I've made relationships with not only staff members and um, residents but also like a big community of RAs just helping a lot of students. I'm an RA so that I can make an impact with students and make sure that they feel welcome and comfortable at Grand Valley. I like to be a human resource for them, but I also like to be their friend. 